Example A is just a little bit confusing because it seems like uh, parts A and parts B should be using the same information and they actually don't. So just make sure that as you're solving this one you keep the information separate. So if we're working on specifically part A, it tells us that the measure of BD, so from here around to here, is 125 degrees. And it wants us to find the measure of CD, so the other side from here around to here. And this just uses the theorem. It tells us that since the chord CD is the same as the chord BD, that that means the associated angles are also the same. So if the angle or the arc BD is 125 degrees, then the arc CD is also 125 degrees. So the measure of CD, the arc, is also 125 degrees. Now the second question then does not use that same information, so don't get don't get confused and try and apply it again. This one tells us that the measure of BC right here is 80 degrees. And if that's the case, what is the measure of this arc over here now, CD? Well, still using the information from the picture, which we can, just not our previously calculated information, we still know that CD and BD are the same because their chords are the same. So what we have then is that 80 degrees plus CD twice, because it's the same thing as BD, right? So 2 times CD is equal to 360 degrees, because that's the whole circle. Then we can just subtract the 80 degrees from both sides. 360 minus 80 is 280. And then we know that 2 times CD is equal to 280 degrees. So we divide both sides by 2. And we get CD is equal to half of 280, or 140. So you can see in the second uh, question here in part B, CD is 140 degrees, whereas in the first part it was 125 degrees. So don't let that confuse you. All right, example B. Example B says find the values of X and Y. So X is this portion of this chord. Whoops, that's not a very good color for that. Let's try that again. X is the upper portion of this chord right here, the chord that goes all the way across. And since this line right here is a diameter, we know that the diameter meeting at 90 degrees, so it's perpendicular, bisects this chord. So that tells us that x and 6 are equal halves of the same chord, so that x and 6 must be the same thing. So that tells us that x equals 6. Then y is similar. We have that same diameter meeting at a 90 degree angle or perpendicular to the chord. And that chord describes this arc right here. So that diameter then bisects that chord, which tells us that 75 and y are equal halves of this arc right here. So now we know that y is equal to 75 degrees. Easy enough. OK, and then example C. Example C says find the value of x. Well, this one's actually a little easier than it looks because we have this information right here that tells us that this chord right here, or this uh, what would be a radius if it goes all the way out, this radius right here and this radius right here are cut into line segments that are congruent. And we know that because of this little hash mark right here. So if this line segment from the center to the lower section right here is congruent to this line segment up here, and they meet these chords at 90 degrees, then we know that these two chords must be congruent. And if these two chords here are congruent, then we can write that as an equation. And we can say that 6x minus 7 is congruent to, or is the same thing as, 35. And then we just need to solve for x. So we'll add 7 to both sides. This will go away. We'll get 6x equals 42, and then divide both sides by 6. And 42 divided by 6 is 7, so that tells us that x equals 7. And we're done.